four leaders of some trained teachers who were picketing at the premises of the Ghana Education Service were arrested by the police. According to the police, the group had no permit to demonstrate in contravention with the Public Order Act. Made up of 2016-2017 badge, the group is demanding posting after completing their courses and writing their licensial exams. They had earlier gathered at the premises of the GES, hoping to hear from their would-be employers. However, their actions was deemed illegal by the Accra Regional Police, citing the Public Order Act. Those arrested include the president of the unposted trained teachers, Emmanuel Asabre. We followed up with the education and they said they haven't posted any information to that effect. So then we asked them to talk to them. So they addressed them and after the address we asked them to leave the premises since they didn't notify the police they were coming. And the leaders said they were not leaving the premises. So we decided then to pick them up to the regional headquarters for us to engage them and know what we can do for them. But the group insisted they did not provoke the police. I completed 2018. 2018? Yeah, which I was supposed to complete 2017. From, from Dambai College of Education. And you, you, you passed all your... I passed everything with my national, line, service? national service, licenses, everything. I even have it at my disposal. Okay. And so uh, we came and we were told that we should come for a posting. You were told so, by who? By the GS. Yeah, GS. We, we received some oh, messages. On your phone? Me message, yeah. A message on your phone? Yes. That we should come for validation. We should come for validation. So we came and it was something else. Yeah. We okay. came and they, they invited the... That, they, they said the message is fake. fake. All right, so let's interrogate this subject matter a while longer. We've been joined in studio by Vincent Ekosifua. He is the um, public relations officer for the Ministry of Education. We put some questions to him. Good evening, sir. Thank you Good for evening, joining us. This seemed to be a recurrent um, issue. Uh, looks as if any, almost every year, teachers who have undergone training have issues with posting. What seemed to be the problem with the, with the postings of these teachers? Well, first and foremost, let me say a very good evening to your cherished viewers. Um, I think that I would disagree with you on that point. Um, and I'll say that on this basis. In 2017, um, when this government took the reins of government, um, we were able to pick about 19,640 um, teachers. These were limited uh, recruitment that we did in 2017. And of course, we also uh, posted at about 14,000 170 newly trained teachers. So when you add these numbers, in 2017 alone, we were able to pick about 33,810. Now so, in 2018. So the the 19,000 was in 2017? Absolutely. Those and ones were for limited recruitment. Okay. And we also posted newly trained teachers, about 14,100, which means that, that 2017, yes, in that same year, 2017 alone, we were able to pick about 33,000. Right. Now in 2018, that, 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 that was when we started the implementation of the double track um, okay. implementation itself. So it was at that time that we, all, we were also able to recruit about 8,000 um, teachers in this country. So when you add the 8,000 and the 33,000, 2017 and 2018 alone, we were able to pick about 41,000. Okay. Now in 2019, we have also been able to post about 14,500 newly trained teachers already. And you know that there's a certain collaboration between GES and YAE where we're able to pick about 7,000 um, teachers. And also non-teaching staff, as far as the double track teachers are concerned, we were also able to pick about 1,400 and something. Mm. So what it means is that just between 2017 and to 2019, 19. we have picked or we have recruited 66,480 teachers in this country. So it cannot be the case so, that so we these have are having challenges as far as recruitment no, with, is concerned. With specific reference to this group of trained, mm. uh, teacher, trained teachers, are they the ones that you're talking about? Most of them had already, or some of them have already been employed Martin, but absorbed? Martin, the current situation that we have is a very special situation. And I'll mm. tell you why. In 2018, that was when we started the implementation of the Education Act of 2018, uh, 2008, as far as the teacher licensure exams is concerned. And okay. also teachers who are supposed to be having their, their national service for the first time was also implemented. So as, far as, as part of the agreement that we had with those teachers, or let me say the leadership of TAC, mm -hmm. 
we give them the assurance that as soon as they are done, as of right, we are going to engage all of them. Okay. And indeed, we secured a financial clearance from the Ministry of Finance. And the financial clearance that came um, suggests that all those who completed in 2018, who might have been able to finish their licensure exam, passed according to the National Teaching Council, and also had your national service, means that you are able or you are supposed to be engaged. Now, those who came to the Ghana Education Service to pick it, mm. these are the problems that they have. We have given an announcement out to the Ghanaian public, and especially the teachers who are involved, that if you completed in 2018, it is non-negotiable. It is as of right, you are supposed Composed to be engaged. You will be engaged. Absolutely. Okay. All that you need to do is that you go to your regional office, give your data to them. The HR at the headquarters, that is the GS headquarters, will take all those data, verify them, validate them, and know that indeed you pass your licensure exam, your national service, you also been able to finish. Mm. Then by the end of this week, we will be able to make some decisions as to how these people are going to be engaged. So I don't see why they come to the um, Ghana Education Service, especially after all the engagement and to, all the... To pick it. Uh, Did you, and if you're talking about engagement, at what levels have you engaged them? Because these people that came there today said that they were first invited via text message and that they hadn't heard anything concrete from the leadership of either the Ghana Education Service or the Ministry of Education. So at what levels are you engaging them? I, I know some text messages came out. The test messages that came out was for teachers who are now getting their staff IDs to go to the Ministry of Finance and go and validate themselves with the Ministry of Finance. Not these new teachers who came. So there are some people who never got the message. They thought okay. that so far as a certain friend who got the message means that all of them should also come mm. to the Ghana Education. In, mm. in fact, the validations are not done at the Ghana Education Service. It is done at the Ministry of Finance. So when you get your staff ID, you go and do your biometric there. So I think that it is upon that message that was miscommunicated to mm. other people who never got the messages on their phone, but yet decided so the to message, come to the Ghana Education yes, Service. Yes, there is a possibility that there were some messages sent out, but they were for specific people. Those to come are people to who have already been recruited and they have been given their staff IDs to, to go to the validate. Ministry of Finance to go okay. and have their biometric veri um, verifications. What can the Ministry do in this regard now the, the police seem to have come in? Those that have been arrested, they clearly are your people. Um, what is the Ministry or can the Ministry do in helping resolve the issue, the impasse? Well, I don't think that I'm able to hold brief for the Ghana Police Service. But what I know is that um, as per basic law and um, triad law says, um, if you want to pick at an institution like this, a government institution, um, what is appropriate for you to do is to inform the Ghana Police Service and if they give you approval that the Ghana Police Service will approve of your coming there and protect you. In okay. the absence of this, it is contrary to law, the Ghana Police Service is able, uh, is capable to also implement what the law says mm -hmm. in instances like this. Let's let's look at uh, the issue of the engagement you, you talked about. So those that came to Pickett, let's say they didn't get a text message, they just came, they followed the crowd. What do you have to tell them regarding the plan by government to engage them if they've gone through all the verification processes? At what point are you looking at engaging them? Now, th this, this message will go to only those who completed in 2018. 2018. Absolutely. Those who completed in but 2016. How about before? No, you I'll get there. Those who completed in 2018. The message that I will give to you is that you need to go to your regional office. Okay. Give your data to the regional office HR. The HR at the headquarters will also verify those data, validate them, and give you your appointment letters. So far as you completed in 2018, you have no fears at all. Okay. Now, for those who completed in 2017, 2016. What it means is that we don't have financial clearance for you. Mm. As soon as we get financial clearance from the Ministry of Finance, we are going to open up for limited recruitment. That is when all those who were able to complete in 2016, 2017 and have not been engaged mm. will have the opportunity to also um, get themselves onto the GESP role. See, in 2018, when we opened for the double track mm -hmm. um, recruitment, you remember it was for anybody who completed, uh, whether from 2012, 2013, 2014, or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the College of Education teachers, or if you like, students never complained. They never said that they are supposed to be recruited. Because they were in line Absolutely. automatically. So okay. limited recruitment happens almost every year. And so what we are going to 
um, ask them to do is that as soon as we open for limited recruitment, mm -hmm. then they will have the opportunity to be able to um, apply to the Ghana Education Service. And we can also can you give them, them timelines? Can we work with some timelines at least so they know that well, maybe that, that, by the middle of the well, year? Well, or well that would mean that I'm speaking for Ministry of Finance or by extension the government. For us at the Ministry of Education, what we wait for is the financial clearance, clearance. that comes from the Ministry of Finance because we don't want to do what happened in 2012, 2013, 2014. When appointment letters were given to some people in this country without financial clearance, mm. what what that means is that people were engaged but they did not know the source of funds for those that people and that was them. why that was why the three month pay policy was implemented and so somebody who has worked for about three years okay. was given three months pay policy and that is what we want to avoid we want to as prevent. a ministry all right uh, vincent akosifua is the um, public relations officer for the ministry of education and um, we hope that in the coming days we'll be able to resolve this particular issue uh, amicably